G'day guys, Fon owns Fine Silver here again. Today's project is going to be this ox. It should be a little challenging, but it's four legs. So if you're interested in seeing me make this, then stick around. With the bottom layer of my frame already done, I put a light coating of parting powder across the piece. I normally use corn flour. I thought I'd stop the video here just so I could show you that the legs on the right hand side of the piece are still touching the sand and the legs on the left hand side of the piece have been dug out. Now that the top of the frame is on, I normally sprinkle sand lightly over the piece to try and give it some better detail. Sometimes I use a sift. I have to pack the sand into the mould as tight as I can with my thumbs and my uh, palm of my hand. And then I finish with a rolling pin just to get an even pressure throughout the whole mould. Now I separate the two halves of my frame, blow off any excess sand. Then very carefully remove the pattern from the casting. Sometimes this can be very tricky, so take your time. Now I'm using this skewer to make a channel so the metal can get into the void. Then in goes the sprue. In simple terms, it's just a funnel shape that directs the metal down the channel to the void that has been left in the casting. After the sprue has been cut, I normally go back through with my skewer just to make sure the channel is clear. Then we put the two halves of the frame back together and a gentle roll just to make sure everything is packed correctly. And now we are ready for metal. So today I will be pouring a practice pour with copper, followed by a silver pour. copper one turned out perfectly, so I'll get straight into the silver pour. Okay guys, here's the first practice ox made out of copper with a bit of trimming, a little bit of polishing and some antiquing followed by a stamp. It's come out quite lovely. Then next we have the silver one. 
which has had the same sort of treatment as the copper one. It's come out rather well. Really good details on the ears and horns. And uh, tail looks great. Very happy with this piece with a nice stamp on the bottom. So guys, if you're not subscribed, then consider subscribing. Please hit the thumbs up button and give us a comment on anything that I might be able to help you with. I'll just leave you with a couple of still photos of how nice they come up. I really appreciate you all being here this long in the video and I'll catch you on the next one.